Mr. Fred Newman, our sound effects man, is with us this week. So happy. Ran into a, uh, a little problem on the show last week. He was uh, hit with a with a major fine uh, penalty by the uh, Better Broadcasting Board uh, for his uh, performance when he... We asked him to do a brook trout. That's what the script called for. And he misread it, and he did a broken toilet instead. <laughs> which... Uh, Violated the code of good taste, which uh, governs our show, believe it or not. So uh, Fred got, I don't know, he's kind of miffed, you know, and uh, he decided that he wouldn't do the show today and uh, said we go get his substitute. Newt Fredericks uh, is his uh, stand-in, his understudy. But uh, Newt Fredericks, uh, he tries, but he's got problems. He just he can't do an elephant, which is... <laughs> Kind of, kind of basic. He can't, even, he can't even do rifle shots. Blam! 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 Oh, gosh. Blam! Oh, please. He can't even do cats. Cats are so easy. He's, he's good with primates, and so when Newt is our sound effects man, we tend to do stories which involve a lot of uh, primates, a lot of orangutans, and uh, spider monkeys. <laughs> Chimpanzees, baboons, you know, gibbons, lemurs, that sort of thing. So Fred uh, went off. He was uh, he was miffed, and he went off to his 800-acre Connecticut estate with the uh, the peacocks and the uh, flamingos out there in the saltwater pool. Beautiful, beautiful place. Half a mile of of protected seafront there. Big, big fence around it. Stay away from the beach. Stay off the sand. Fred likes to ride his his horse, his uh, silver stallion, along the beach and uh, casting for the grouper as he rides. It's quite a, there you go. You may be wondering, how can a man in public radio afford such a palatial uh, layout like that? Well, it's very simple. It's because every time one of Fred's Animal Sounds is heard on the show. He earns $189.85. That's union scale for an animal cry. Every animal sound that he makes, $189.85. Every single last one. Every time it is used, he gets that. Just two, three, four, five, six. It's, it's a real cash cow for Fred. It's, it's the goose that laid the golden egg, as far as he's concerned. <laughs> Meanwhile, Newt Fredericks was uh, working on his elephant cry. Ready, oh, ready for today's show. His whiplash. Oh, please. His, his Lamborghini idling at the curb there. So he was... Oh. We don't make the car sound by going rum, 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 okay? It just, I'm sorry. Just don't. Okay, sorry, I'll, I'll take the, the car out of the script. He drank his coffee too fast, and he scorched his throat, and, and he couldn't make a sound at all. So we were prepared to bring you a recorded show, a panel discussion of new challenges in our relations with Canada. And uh, Thank you, this is bland. We're not really Fred bad. called in from Connecticut... And he said he can make it. I can make it. Even though New England was hit by a major blizzard here this last week, and Fred's estate got three feet of snow, and he had to get out his snowblower. He had to clear a path over to the helicopter landing pad so the chopper could come in and pick him up. And there was no airport to take him to. They were all closed down on the East Coast. And so they took him out to sea, and a submarine surfaced. And, and they landed him on the submarine, and, and, they, and they took him down below, and, and, they, and it submerged 5,000 feet. They went down. And they put Fred into the nose cone of a Polaris missile. Into the air, he flew. They flew him all the way out to Minnesota, where he ejected at 15,000 feet. And his, 
and his parachute brought him gently down into a snowy soybean field where he was picked up by a farmer on a farm all tractor meep, meep. and on in here I didn't know if tractors had horns but but that's great that's wonderful did they expect to run into other tractors out in the soybean field I don't know I don't know. He got in his pickup there. He rode in the pickup. Farmer gave him a ride into town with two dogs there in the front seat and, and brought him in, brought him in. And, and he came, he arrived just minutes ago. But you know, when you fly in a Polaris missile and you drop in a parachute, it affects your, your lower digestive tract. Yeah. And you really gotta, need to use I gotta, I gotta go. a toilet. Yeah. So, we're glad he can be with us, even though he's facing another expensive fine, I'm sure, from the better broadcasting. What? Mr. Fred Newman. 